So after years of serving me well, I'm finally retiring my 2015 MacBook Pro. And I just picked up a new 2021 M1 Pro MacBook Pro as my main DJ laptop. But that doesn't mean I'm getting rid of this 2015 just yet, as I like to have a backup laptop just in case something goes wrong with my other main DJ laptop. So now the question that I was faced with was, how do I make sure both laptops libraries stay in sync? And I think I found the best solution. Find out more coming up. So here we have both laptops set up. And what I wanted to do is be able to download all my new music on this main laptop, the new one that I'm using. But at the same time, I wanted to make sure that all that music gets transferred to my older laptop that served me well, but I want to keep as a backup and I want to be able to have both libraries in sync at all times. So the solution I came up with was to use Dropbox as a service to go ahead and make sure both laptops libraries stay in sync. So for this, you're going to need to download the Dropbox app. So here I have it on this laptop and here I have it installed on this laptop. And this will work on both Mac and PC. Now what you're going to want to do is once you have Dropbox installed on both computers, is you're going to want to go into the preferences and go into sync and make sure that selective sync is on. So instead of having all of my Dropbox folders synced, I just want to have the folder with the music synced on both laptops. So here I have it selected here. And at the same time, if I go into preferences here and go into sync and select the folders, I want to make sure that both music sync folders that has all of my music are synced on both and both are being updated. So now I went ahead and downloaded some new tracks off of DJ City right here on this laptop. So if I go ahead and open my finder, go to my downloads folder, I have these new songs right here. Now if you look on the downloads folder on this laptop, I don't have these songs here on downloaded, I just downloaded them here. But what I can do is now if I go to Dropbox and do the same here. So on the new laptop that I downloaded the music on, if I go to my Dropbox folder and drop these into the folder where I put my new music. So I have it sorted out. So this is all my music from record pools. Now what it's doing is if I go to the Dropbox app, it's gonna go ahead and sync those files and depending on your internet connection, it can take a few seconds or a few minutes. It's only a few songs right now. So as you can see, it's syncing the six songs right now. I've got about half a minute left. Now what this is going to do is it's going to upload it to the Dropbox cloud. And because this computer is synced with the same folders, as soon as Dropbox sees that new files have been added, as you can see right here, it's going to go ahead and sync those files right here and add them automatically to this computer. So if I go into the Dropbox folder here on this laptop and go into the same folder, the pools folder, and I go to date modified, here's all the new songs being added right here. So you can see that these six songs were added today. And what's cool about this is if I go into Serato, and you can see it finished syncing those six files. So what's cool is if I go into Serato here and I go ahead and add those songs to my Serato, if I make any changes such as adding cue points, so let's, so notice this just has one cue point right now and that's the original file if I go ahead and add some cue points to this, close out of Serato. And to me, this is the most powerful thing that I can work on a song just on this laptop, get all my cue points, loops, beat grids, whatever set. And then I can go into Serato on my backup laptop. Give it a second to boot up. And once I go into Serato here, if I add that song to my Serato library, once it finishes loading, give it a second. Notice all the changes that I made, even after the initial upload, any changes that I make 
will be made on any other computer that has those folders synced. So notice I have all three of those cue points that I made with this laptop and it's reflected here. So whatever changes I make, whatever songs I add, it'll always be in sync with this laptop as, as long as both of them have the internet connection and the files get um, updated and uploaded. Those changes happen on both laptops, making sure that this library on this backup laptop is always in sync with my main DJ laptop. And that's super powerful. Coming up with this system has really given me peace of mind. Just knowing that all the music that I've added to my new laptop, all the cue points I've added, beat grids, all the tags that I've added and edited are automatically transferred in sync to my backup DJ laptop. Meaning if something were to happen to my main DJ laptop, that backup DJ laptop has the exact same music library with all the same work that I've put into it and I can just grab it, plug it in and go and still rock the party with basically the same music library and I can still do all of the things that I love to do as a DJ and I don't have to worry about manually transferring all of my files, making sure they're up to date, making sure I've added all of the tags and all that stuff. All of that stuff is synced automatically and I don't even have to give it a second thought. Now for the question of the day. What's your process for backing up your music? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, if you find this video useful, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm to get this video out to as many DJs as possible. Also, be sure to click down below in the description to join my Discord community as you can find exclusive content that can only be found there. And if you're looking for more DJ related content, be sure to click right here. And if you haven't already, be sure to click right here to subscribe to this channel. See you guys in the next one.